Well, I think it's pretty clear after the last episode, we got visited by a bunch of uh, demons that the game is gonna throw harder and harder enemies at my base as we keep progressing. And whereas I do have this nice electrical fence yet to be completed and a bunch of spikes, and then these new things right here, I think we could do more. There's a ton of blueprints on this map, but I think today we're gonna go try to find a couple that are gonna be helpful for sewing up the base. And despite having found a ton of rope last episode, I used it all to make these things. So today I'm a man without armor. No armor for me. Hi there, you with your legs. Would be interesting. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. It would be interesting. Up we go and deploy. And let's head out to the ocean because that's where we're gonna find the first thing that we're looking for. And I don't know what it does at all, but it's called a solophyte generator. And I am interested in knowing what that's gonna do. Some would assume it's going to generate solophyte. But what can we do with solophyte? I actually don't know yet. So we're gonna go get this solophyte generator. My sources have told me we'll find this blueprint down this beach somewhere and I'll know it when I see it. So we'll see about that in just a minute. Well, there's something right down there. Maybe we should take a stop. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Gonna have to loop back around and come in hot. Here we go. There's definitely something here. Straight down and land it. Perfect, good landing. Okay. Yeah, there's stuff here. I don't think we're gonna find a blueprint out here though, but uh, looks like some soda and some cases of MREs and energy bars. All right, so we got some food, some batteries and some more printer stuff. Anything else? Yes, of course. How about grenades? C4, I'll take it. And just like every single episode, let's hope we find some rope today. Look at that, someone's helmet. That way I can start making armor again. Unfortunately, that was not the location we were looking for to find this blueprint. So we're just gonna keep heading down the beach and see what's what. We have not been down this way yet. So maybe we'll run across some more cool stuff. And if you guys are enjoying the video, enjoying the series, do me a favor, drop a like, leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate both or either or ne neither. No, neither. I wouldn't appreciate neither. Just both or one of them is fine. Thank you. Hi. We have here is this is this a thing oh i thought this was a cave right here this little dark spot it is not a thing moving on i think i see a boat on the shore and it looks like a spear with probably a head on it we should definitely check this out yep it's a spear with a head i was correct but also supplies dang it i can't carry any more c4 got some money a little magazine down there. Oh my God, what's that noise? Oh my shit, nope, nope. We're not doing this again today. I don't have armor on. Oh my God, it's a legsy. Okay, it's not one of those big brutes. This is a legsy. All right, we'll throw a spear. Yeah, yeah, it didn't feel good. Can you even see me? I feel like you can't. Oh God, you can. I thought maybe it was like a T-Rex. It could only sense you if you're moving. <laughs> hey, stop jumping at me. I will throw every spear I have at you. Oh, I missed with that one. Stop moving. Oh, my spears are gone. Looks like I've got a little bit of ammo. Might as well use it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Want some more? Just hold still. Hold still. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you the way that you are? Would you look at yourself? Who did this to you? Oh, what's he doing? Yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Crap. It's still alive. Shotgun. Oh, yeah. I saw some blood come off of you. I sounded like Macho Man Randy Savage this time. Ooh, yeah, brother. Mm. Ah. Die. Holy crap. Is it dead? I did it. Okay. Woo. All right. I'll be taking those spears back. Thank you. And I will take some of your mutant armor. What's in this box? Uh, Molotov stuff. Yes. Time to re-up on my Molotovs. I mean, it's getting to the point where you can't even go on a stroll on the beach anymore without being harassed by four-legged monsters. The Molotovs are a good choice. I still don't see any kind of cave over here on the beach. I'm just gonna keep walking. It looks like something's up ahead. Now this looks promising. What are you? Oh, that is a fence. There is, this might be the place. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, this is something, all right. What was that? Oh, that's, what is that, a whale? Yep, looks like a beached whale or shark. Don't know. Get my flashlight ready because I don't trust this cave. There's definitely going to be something in here. It's not friendly. That doesn't want me to be in here. Oh, crosses everywhere. Interesting. 
The cultists have been here. Bones. Give me those bones. Oh, I'm full on bones. Okay. Well, then please give me some rope. Nope. Canned cat food and more bones. You know, we haven't found an artifact piece in a while. Maybe we'll find one in here, even if this isn't the cave that I'm looking for, the solophyte generator recipe. Maybe it's an artifact. Hey, rope. Good. Why can I not just cut you guys down and use all this rope? Out of the way. Take that rope. Oh, boy. Skulls everywhere. More cat food. There it is. Oh, I think we found it. Yep. I think this is the solophyte generator. 11 skulls, 24 bones, 10 stone. I could definitely make this. I'm going to have to get some more skulls. We certainly are in the right place for skulls, except it won't let me pick these up. So we've got to kill some cannibals today and get their skulls if we plan on making that. But next thing's next. Let's get out of here and go to the next location. There's something called a multi-trap. Now that sounds like something we could use around the base, a multi-trap. Meanwhile, that's horrible. Sorry that your guts are out of your body. I am so sorry. Moving on. Hey, it's another boat, man. This beach is the beach that just keeps on giving. Got a little buoy there. A couple of turned over boats. Oh, we're gonna find a rope. I love it. You know, with all the things this game has to offer, there's not one thing that gets me more excited than finding rope. I love it. I think I have five pieces of rope now. We'll make some armor in just a minute or two. All right, I think I got all the supplies around here. Yeah, let's stop here and make some armor. Well, we might be out of rope, but I now have four pieces of bone armor on. Totally worth it. Oh, a blue little X just popped up on the map. That could be a golf cart. Could be something else. Not sure. We're going to go check it out, though. Sometimes these little icons just pop up when you get close to something, so I'm not quite sure what we have here, but we are going to check it out. The fact that it's on a path, though, probably means a golf cart, which is cool. We can get to our destination a little bit quicker because it does look like we're running out of daylight. And you know me, I don't want to be out here at night. Right here. Yep, golf cart. Okay. Oh, also, a couple of grave sites. Looks like we can dig these up, uh, just the two. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be some rope. You know what? I think I'm going to be smart about this. Before it gets dark, which it's going to very soon, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little camp here. We'll get a fire going, so that way we can see what we're doing. Then we'll dig up those graves, and then we'll probably just sleep here for the night. And hopefully we don't get visited by a bunch of cannibals overnight. One can hope, anyways. All right, let's get back to digging. Probably just going to be a coffin here. Yeah, there is. See if we can break it open yet. Eh, what did we get? Some wire. And I think I saw coins. Let's see. Come on. Give it to me. Got to dig it up some more. That ought to do. Yeah, it's coins. Okay. Well, that's good for making bombs. Was hoping for some rope. Maybe this one will have rope in it. Looks like Virginia followed us. I think Virginia might have just killed a rabbit. I heard something scream that sounded like an animal. Let's see if she brings back some meat for us. Where'd you go, Virginia? She could just be eating it raw, though, for all I know. Did you bring me something? Was it a rabbit? Oh, look at your face. Guilty as charged. You just ate a rabbit raw, didn't you? What's that? That's a rock. I don't need a rock. I need a rabbit that you didn't bring me. Thanks for nothing. I think I'm going to actually give Virginia the handgun. Boom. I don't think she needs ammo. I think it just works for her. <laughs> it's in her third arm. Isn't that adorable? So if we get attacked when I go to bed tonight and the cannibals show up, you better start shooting. All right. Let's see what happens when we go to sleep. Oh, God. We were woken up. You knew it was going to happen. Behind you. Use that gun I gave you. You better help me. Yeah, I'm gonna go after this one first. Yeah, missed. He's got that mutant armor on. Not gonna be easy to kill him. Virginia, will you start shooting these things? Don't you dare run away. Oh my God, she ran away with my gun. All right, looks like it's up to me now. Yeah, come on. Oh, I chopped his head off. Good, the mutant armor guy's already, yes. Yes, get him, Virginia. Uh-huh. Right, Virginia's got a gun now, people. I think she scared him off. Good job, my lady. Yeah, she, she's sitting back down. She's like, all righty. All in a day's work for Virginia. Oh, they're back. Of course they are. Don't worry, I got it. Get up, get up. Pull out your gun. Oh, come on, get up. Get her back up. There you go. All right, shoot them. Find them and shoot them. 
Jesus. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Oh, you shot him. Good job. Good job. Right, you better go. Oh, look. There's a ton more graves here. Looks like we've got something to do in the morning. Dig these up. Maybe get some more rope. Also, there seems to be a bunch of bodies in the trees. Are these always here? I hate the forest at nighttime. Ah, okay, good. It's morning. Let me get some food and some water in me. Thanks for your help, Virginia. You did good last night. Real good. Looks like the best decision I could have made was to give her that gun. That made that so much easier. I'm going to dig up some graves now. I'll be with you guys in just a minute. Well, this was worth doing. I got some, uh, some rags and some cat food, but over here, look at this. Rope and rope. And of course, let's not forget about more rope. Now, let me see if I can find this multi-trap. I hear that helicopter again. It sounds like it's on the ground. It's not up in the air yet. Maybe we can catch it before it takes off. I doubt it. But it's probably coming from right where this... Hey, you get out of here. No, 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 no. Stop it, sir. Wait, is this the camp I've already been to? No, this is different. There's three tents here. Ooh, there's a rope cave. Oh, he just took off. We are currently surrounded by cannibals, I think. Yeah, there's one, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I missed you. Are you kidding me? Get out of that tree. Get out of that tree. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's right. That is right. Well, we definitely need to check around here. There's going to be plenty of good stuff to loot, like this GPS tracker. Nine millimeter ammo. Dang it. I don't have my pistol anymore. I gave it to her. I guess I could take it back if I really wanted it back. All right, that tent is clear. Let's go check out this one. Oh, big old moose over there. Soda. Lore. Yep, there's cannibals surrounding me while I'm trying to read. Not good. Okay, what does this say? Uh, Chuck, Sahara is able to fund me in a way Puffton never would. I'm heading back to the island to see what's left of everyone. Time to assemble a team. Jianyu. Damn it, Jianyu. I'm starting to think... John Yu's bad. And what would make me think that? Oh, gee, I don't know. Kill Puffton? I'm thinking John Yu worked for the Puftons. In fact, I think we have seen that. I think we know that already. But clearly, whoever this Chuck fella is, perhaps has lured John Yu out of Puffcore's employment into what I'm guessing is Sahara's employment as a spy or possibly an assassin. Still on the fence about both. Don't know. An assassin spy, perhaps. Oh, good. Some more arrows, to which I seem to be full of. That's unfortunate. Yeah, apparently, you guys don't know how to get... Well, how did you catch yourself on fire? Explain that to me. Apparently, you don't know how tents work, though, because they can't get in here. It's wonderful, actually. More C4 bricks. <gasps> grenades. Yes. I've been quietly stockpiling grenades back at the base. Hey, some binoculars. Is that what these are? Night vision goggles, shut your mouth hole. Definitely don't want to put those on during the daytime. But we're about to go in a cave. And if that means we can be hands-free, no more flashlight, I can start using my crossbow and stuff inside of a cave. Or I don't have a crossbow, but I do have a compound bow. Let's go in here. Night vision goggles, on. Uh, okay, not the greatest, but I can see. They require batteries. We've got a battery meter up top. Oh, God. Which also means I can use the bow and arrow now. Yeah, nothing really good in those boxes. I guess we'll go left. You always start out by going left. Those are always the rules. We got some more 9mm ammo there. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section if you prefer the night vision goggles inside of a cave or just the flashlight. Uh, because it is all about your experience at all watching this. So I don't know how ugly those night vision goggles are and how clearly you can see things, but clearly you can see things really good with the flashlight, but I can't use certain things with the flashlight in my hand. So I will wait for you guys to tell me. Got some rope, some more rags, some more rope. Well, our rope finding mission today has gone very well. And here we do have another blueprint. I'll tell you what, this is not the multi-trap. This is the teleporter. That's right, teleportation. I don't know how this works. 50 bones, 33 of those, man, we got a lot of cool stuff to make. But I wanted the multi-trap, which should just be northish of here. So I'm gonna still try to find that multi-trap, but we got ourselves a teleporter. Before this series is over, we're definitely making a teleporter. Okay, there is a little tiny river straight in front of me, okay? 
and then just somewhere next to that river should be this multi-trap. So I just need to go straight. Quite honestly, I should be pretty close to it now. Yeah, just like uh, right around here somewhere. What is that orange? There's an orange marker on the map. I don't know what that is. We'll go check that out in a minute. I mean, that could be the multi-trap location. Oh, God, I've got a moose chasing me. Holy crap. That thing just came flying past me. Must be running from cannibals or something. Is this what we're looking for? Oh, God, I hear him again. No, he's trying to kill me. Stop it. You'll rue the day you mess with me. Uh-huh. You'll rue it. Well, this is interesting because this might be the location of the multi-trap right here. But then what is that orange icon right up there? I don't know. But I'm definitely going in here. Well, let's go. This is kind of what I really wanted to get today. This multi-trap. Look at this. Is this... What is this? It's like a little favela down here. Guess we'll start by going in here, checking it out. We got bones, barrels, and canned cat food. Yummy. All right. I don't even know where I came in at. Okay, that's the rope we came in at. Uh, we could break that open for sure, but let's check this way out first. Got some floor water and... So oh, oh, what I find? This must be the multi-trap. What in the heck does this even do? It's got alcohol bottles needed you need a battery for it some wire some rope i wonder if the two bone pieces smash together like a venus flytrap closing on its prey when they step in the middle maybe that's how it works that's definitely what we're making i'm gonna have to find some more freaking bottles of vodka though luckily i guess we can always go back to the entertainment bunker where that bar was and get some more all right, let's go smash this open. See what's back here. Um, well, doesn't look like much. Oh, yeah, there's some supplies back here. And more supplies. That looks like that's about it. Some bodies. Always some dead bodies. All right, yeah, let's head out of here. I think we've explored this place to its full potential. I am now more interested in what... Ow, my eyes! Uh, what this orange icon was that I saw all over this way. So we're going to go this way now. Today is a full day of activities, man. We're doing so much, getting so much accomplished. Nothing to do with the story and actually progressing the game. But I'm getting all kind of neat things that may or may not help me defend my base next time they send a bunch of demons or, heaven forbid, whatever that brute was that we saw on the beach in the last episode. If that thing ever comes to my base, we are screwed. Hey, raccoons. What you guys doing over here? Did you find something? You found rope. Thanks, guys. Let's see what we've got. We're really close to this orange icon. Oh, it's another dig site, excavation site. I hear music. Who's playing the music? Make it stop. I got it. Yeah, another dead dude. GPS locator. Is there a place around here for digging or something? Like, what is this? Usually when you find one of these excavators, there's a cave or a dig spot somewhere nearby. I don't see anything. Oh, across the river. What do we have here? Oh my God, what am I about to get into now? Okay, this was not part of the plan. I wanted to get a few blueprints, which we've gotten, uh, but then this thing shows up. What are you? Well, hopefully we're not making a mistake by going in here. Could be the last thing we ever do. Or maybe we'll find some more cool stuff. Yeah, rope and tape. It's like a solophyte cave here. Huh. All right, so this just loops back around. Maybe there's nothing in here other than just some supplies. This would be actually pretty cool. Oh, give me that rope back. Thank you. Yeah, it just looks like it's a cave with some supplies. Nothing crazy in here. Unless there's another way to go. And I am full on rope and I don't have any more bones. So I can't make armor to free up some rope space. So I guess we should probably head back home. Drop off some of this stuff. And also we'll get to uh, maybe make some of these blueprint items that we found today. Okay, we're back home. I want to check out this one. This was the multi-trap. Let's put it down somewhere that probably is going to get some use. Uh, definitely just right out front. This should work right about here. This is going to take some leaves and some rocks and some sticks, batteries, some wire. I'm just hitting buttons. It's filling in. Okay, we got to get more sticks. 
It looks like it's about to be nighttime again already. So this is perfect timing. Hopefully we can get this track trap done before nightfall and then we can see if it works because we always get visitors at night. Always add the stick, add some bones. Ah, crap. All right, more bones, but that's good because I have plenty of bones inside. Right here, tons of bones. Grab as many as I can hold. This actually might be a bad spot for it now that I'm thinking about it because uh, the cross is kind of in the way. They're not gonna walk right up to this. Let me, let me move it. I gotta pick up everything though. Let's do it right in front of the fence here because they always come to this fence to try to jump over it and stuff. And then maybe another one over there when I get enough stuff. But one for now will do. Let's fill it in. And some skulls and that's it. She's filled in. I'm guessing if they step on that, they're gonna get it. And then this thing is the Solophyte Generator, which I'm not entirely sure what it even does, but I'm just gonna put it right here up against the fence. I get, actually, that's my gate. I don't really have room in here. Might have to go outside the fence. Yeah, we can just always put it out in the yard. Why not? There, we'll just throw it there. And yeah, I don't have any of the stuff I'm gonna need for this. Bones, yes, but I need 11 skulls and a bunch of rock slabs. Not these kind of rocks. Yeah, this kind of rock. That's what I need. It says Kelvin's right here, but he's clearly not right here. Kelvin, are you underground? How did you get under there? I was going to have Kelvin collect all this. Oh, wait. I think he's, I think I just saw his notebook to talk to him, but he's not here. He's invisible. Yeah. Invisible Kelvin. There he goes. Follow me. I guess Kelvin found an invisibility blueprint today. I have no idea. Are you right here? Get stones and drop here. And while Kelvin is doing all that, I say let's go to bed and see if we can get some cannibals to test out our new trap. Nope, it turned daytime. Well, of course it did. Yeah, I've got some more grenades to put on my grenade rack. Six grenades so far. Ah, good work, Kelvin. He's got two of them here for me. Throw those in. Just need seven more. All right, let me see if I can go find some while he's still gathering. Oh God, babies. The babies are coming. Kelvin, don't just sit there. Ah. Oh, let's see if we can take one of these babies over to the trap. Over here, babies. Come on. Yeah, just like I thought, the game's gonna start throwing weirder and weirder stuff at us as the days go on. I really want to see this trap in action. Oh, something happened. Oh my god, it caught on fire and it's sandwiched shut. Plus, one of those things went off. Amazing. Come here. Yeah. I think that was the last one. So then, to reset this... Oh, that's awesome. You don't have to put like a new booze bottle in there every time to reset it. So it's going to catch on fire and slam shut. <laughs> that is neat. And I think there's electricity as well. Yeah, there is. Multi-trap. It totally makes sense now. And then this thing worked. Killed a baby. Perfect. Man, our base is coming along. Yeah, if I get one more of those and put it right here, then the front side of the base is pretty well off. Just the sides I'm going to have to keep working on. And I'm guessing this will trigger if you step on the bones, the center part, anywhere on it, really. Uh, hello? I hear you. I think we have another visitor coming. Let me get inside. Oh, I guess she changed her mind. She was screaming. I guess she ran back into the woods. All right. Well, Kelvin's not invisible anymore. That's good. Let's go see if he's got some more rocks for us here. Yep. Thanks, bud. Let's see if I can find some more stones on my own. Normally, you find them down by the river. Hopefully, we'll find some down here. Yeah, there's one and another one. I think I can carry four at a time. And number four. All right, let's go back. wonder if I could send these up the zip line. Oh, you can. Oh, well, that's perfect. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Grab these and let's go put them in. And boop, 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 boop. Need one more. Oh, God. We have visitors. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere. Okay. I need some skulls anyway, so this isn't a bad thing. Let them come. Oh, oh, oh my God, that was perfect. Oh, he's getting up from that? No way you're not getting up from that. You are getting up from that. That is the craziest trap ever. Love it. Yeah, you've had enough, haven't you? Yeah. Maybe don't come around here no more. Huh? What do you think of that? Stop getting up. If you get up again, you're gonna get the trap again. Nope, I think she's done for. She's not getting back up. Unfortunately, she's one of these big ones. And I don't believe, oh man, there were two in that trap. I thought I saw a body explode because I just saw a ton of bones and I got 
a skull. Oh, she is getting back up. She's one of these big girls, though. I don't think I could pick her up and put her in the fire. But maybe if the trap blows her up like it did her friend a second ago, then I'll get all the bones and skulls from her. <laughs> You're just not having a good day, are you? You came to the wrong base. You sure did. I'll finish this for you. There you go. You're finished. And this guy's not having a good time either. Serves you right. Oh, well, I can't get that skull, unfortunately. Put this in, and then now it's time for some more bones. Gonna need 18 of these. Oh, okay, hold on. Throw some more bones in here. Ah, too short. Boom, boom. 11 skulls, though. Jeez, okay. Man, all right, I gotta get to work. Time to get some skulls. There's a cannibal cap this way. I guess we'll just go over there and pick a fight with them. And then burn all the bodies and get some more skulls. Oh, they're already trying to attack me. And fire. Ooh, right in her head. You're next, sir. Uh-huh. Stay down. Thank you. What are you looking at? Boom. All right, let's burn some bodies. Sorry, guys. I need to make a solo fight generator, even though I don't know what it does. I'm going to have to use your heads to do it. Another one showed up. He's not happy. There you go. Doesn't matter if you're happy. I'm happy now. Another skull. All right, I grabbed the three skulls from those bodies. I'll come back for that one in just a minute. You see something, Kelvin? Oh, I see him. You are just a skull to me. Oh, and another one. Man, just line up for me. This is great. Kelvin, watch that body for me. Sorry, not sorry. Get in the fire. Be back for these in just a minute. Let me put the skulls I do have on this pile already. Here we go. And that needs seven more. Okay. Where is your skull, mister? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, another one. Gotcha. Oh, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. Come on home with me. Come on. Okay, everybody's burning. Good. Good. Oh, you're not burning. Please burn. Five more. Five more. And then we'll see what this thing does. Three more. Three more. Yeah, just give me that. And that one. And that one. And I'll just have to replace those uh, when I find some more skulls. Okay? And do it. How do you do anything? What do you do? How do you do it? Do it. Do it. What do you do? Show me. Show me your secrets. How do you work? Work. Solophyte generator, huh? Maybe some solophyte will just appear here in the middle over time. Somehow this generates solophyte. Not sure. That's just a wild guess. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But Operation Strengthen the Base was a success because of this thing right here. And I'm going to put another one right here. And then also, I'm pretty sure I found the blueprint for a teleporter, which we will have to test out at some point in this series. I will need enough material to make two of them. Obviously, if you're going to teleport, you're going to have to have another pad somewhere else. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. On the next episode, though, we do plan on going into one of the caves that are going to help advance the story a little bit. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy, Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.